middle, second grade, and welcome to Read Aloud for Wednesday. So we finished a chapter book yesterday, so that means today we get to start a brand new one. So this series is also on epic, and we're going to read the first chapter book in the series today and tomorrow. So this book is called Hank the Pet Sitter, number one, Otis the Very Large Dog. So Hank is this little boy that you see right here, and he's going to go on adventures as a pet sitter, and we get to read all about him. So find a nice comfy spot, and let's start reading. Chapter number one, a good job. It was the first day of summer. Hank loved summer. He loved swimming in the pond. He loved playing ball with his friends. But most of all, Hank loved riding his bike. My bike, yelled Hank. He looked at the bent metal. It looked like modern art. You need to put away your things, said Hank's mom. You need to pay for a new bike, said Hank's dad. But I'm a kid, said Hank. Jenny ran over from next door. Tsk, she said. Hank hated when she clicked her tongue like that. Why didn't you mow lawns? asked Janie. Hank shook his head. Why don't you weed? asked Janie. She pulled a small shovel out of her purse. Hank shook his head again. Hey mom, hey dad, said Hank. Can I pet sit? Hank's mom looked at Hank's dad. They smiled. Yes. I need a sign, said Hank. Hank got to work. He got a poster board from the closet. He got the old cans of red and orange paint from the garage. Pet sitting he painted. All kinds he painted. Hank he painted. But he messed up the O and it looked more like an A. Still, it was a good sign. Hank was ready for business. Chapter two, a customer. Hank stood on the lawn with his sign. A car drove by and honked. Hank waved. What are you doing? asked Janie. Waving, said Hank. They might be customers. Tsk, tsk, Janie clicked again. They are not customers. But they honked, said Hank. Janie tugged on gloves from her purse. She pointed to the sign. Your sign says honk. Why don't you go home, asked Hank. You aren't good for business. Hank's friend Ben and his mom pulled up. Ben's mom honked. Their car was stuffed with suitcases. It was stuffed with Ben. But mostly it was stuffed with Ben's huge dog, Otis. Can you pet sit Otis? asked Ben's mom. If not, we will take him to the vet. Vet? Otis jumped. He hit his big head on the roof of the car. Mom, said Ben, you have to spell that word. Sorry, said Ben's mom. Hank, is it okay? We have to go. Sure, said Hank. He had his first customer. Ben lugged a giant bin of food from the car. He lugged a giant bed from the car. Finally, he lugged his giant dog, Otis, from the car. Hank grabbed Otis's leash. Hi, boy, he said. Ben's mom waved as Ben got in the car. Thanks, Hank. Otis hates the vet. Vet? But Hank didn't hear her. He was too busy holding on for dear life. Okay, so we got to start our first chapter book, or not our first chapter book, our second chapter book of the week, but our first two chapters. So that means tomorrow we're going to come back and read the next two chapters in our book. So we started Hank's adventure. That means I need to see you back here tomorrow so we can finish the adventures of Hank and his pet city. So right now, stretch it out, move your body, 
and let's get back to our Wednesday work.